Hey guys, it's me, Kilmasana, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. As always, I do every Saturday that covers this week's past FNAF news. So this week, we got a lot of more news. Hex Security Breach line has just dropped, and we got our first look at the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 movie logos. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, but let's just start off with the more. So, Lucas has revealed the upcoming Phantom Chica figure. So, we got our first look at Phantom Chica. We've known about this for like two months about now, but here's what it looks like. Phantom Chica, it looks like Phantom Chica. I really like the eyes. It's like my favorite part about it, but it's very dark and like kind of looks like poop. I, I don't know why, but it kind of looks like poop a little bit. But uh, it's it's very dark and like brownish, just like Phantom Chica, kind of green too. They got that got that hint of green on uh, Phantom Chica. But uh, tell me if you guys like this Phantom Chica figure. I'm not the biggest fan of Phantom Chica. I'm not sure a lot of people are actually. But we finally got the first look at the upcoming Phantom Chica figure. And also, the new Five Nights at Freddy's YouTube collection is now available. The launch includes Roxanne Slippers, Plusy, Shorter White Oars, Monitor Buddies, and a FNAF 2 puzzle and a light stand. So, basically, the new collection dropped. Uh, one of my friends on Twitter uh, actually won it. So, congratulations to you if you actually watch my videos. But, uh, yeah, this dropped. Uh, I didn't win, Sally, but that sucks. But a lot of cool stuff here. I really wanted the Roxanne Plus stuff because I'm a big Roxy fan. But a lot of cool stuff here. You can get it now. So, uh, Check it out if you want. Uh, I'm not sure how much it costs. It's always decently expensive, but there's a lot of cool stuff in this collection, so it's probably worth it. And we got some amazing hex news. So we got our first of the Yellow Rabbit Hex Plus, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie wave. I don't know why it's just called Five Nights at Freddy's. It's to be called the Five Nights at Freddy's movie wave. We'll include swords, hoodies, as well as Mr. Cupcake Plus featuring an opening mouth. So we are getting our first look at the Yellow Rabbit Hex. Uh, uh, Shorts and hoodies, and the biggest reveal, uh, Mr. Cupcake. And Mr. Cupcake, he does open his mouth up, so maybe you can hide stuff in him. I'm not sure if you can seal it with a zipper or something like that. That would be a really cool feature. But uh, like all the hex pluses, Mr. Cupcake's eyes are like little like pins or whatever they're called, uh, buttons. So yeah, it looks really cute. Uh, kind of dopey a little bit with the teeth, but I think it looks pretty good. And uh, I wish they, they could do more of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Uh, also, we got some YouTube news. So, a, a Fusion Z Game or YouTube's Plus has been teased. So, Fusion Z Game we all know him. He's a popular FNAF YouTuber. He's been doing it for years. He gets so much views and stuff. And uh, apparently, he's getting a YouTube's Plus that's coming out. We only get to see the backside, but it looks like uh, Foxy hiding in a bell or something like that. But Fusion Z Game he's a pretty cool dude. So, this is probably going to be a pretty cool YouTube's Plus. So, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm surprised they're actually doing plusies instead of just figures now, but that's actually pretty cool in my opinion. I like that they're doing more things than just figures because plusies are, in my opinion, a little bit better that you can hug them and stuff. You can't hug an axe figure. I guess you could, but it's not gonna be as nice as it would a plusy. Also, get our first look at the he Blower and he Moon Hex plusies. So we already saw Blower, so this is plus Blower on the side. So the security breach glam marks will be released in late October, early November. They're actually available right now. I'll talk about that later. The Security Breach Wave 2 includes Vanny, Glitch Trap, and Glamrock Bonnie. What the hell are they talking about Glitch Trap? Because Glitch Trap isn't in uh, Security Breach. So I don't know what they're talking about. The Mimic. Is it? Is it the Mimic? I honestly don't know. Uh, we're also getting this just location is planned for December or January release. So Security Breach Wave 2 is kind of weird. So we're getting Vanny, Glitch Trap, and Glamrock Bonnie. Glamrock Bonnie, Glitch Trap. Nah, uh, Glamrock, Bonnie, and Vinny, they actually make sense, but Glitch Trap makes no sense whatsoever since that is a help wanted character. I don't know what Doc is doing, but that's kind of strange. I would honestly rather have, like, uh, the children, like, Gregory or Casey, um, for, uh, you know, plusies instead of Glitch Trap, because that doesn't really fit security weeds. But it's whatever. Uh, I also want them to be the mimic. There's a lot of security breach animatronics you can do, like staff bots and stuff like that. So there's probably gonna be multiple security breach waves, which I'm excited for. I hope there's more than just two because there's so much things. If you're gonna make Vanny, you might as well do the uh, Gregory too and stuff like that. So this is all. This is great news. So we just know the release dates of um, security breach and just look at YouTube's has also teased a watermelon chica and Phantom Freddy YouTube's figures, and they look pretty good. So. Watermelon Chica, it's like, it's making fun of Phantom Chica. There used to be an old joke in the community that she looks like a watermelon. You can kind of see it. So they took that a little bit further and actually made it into a figure. So that's kind of cool. Also, there's Chucky, though. Also, we get to see a look at Phantom Freddy. It's really hard to see. I wonder if he's going to have one leg or not because 
little fun fact, I'm pretty sure he just hops on one leg when he's moving across the thing in FNAF 3. So it would be pretty funny if he actually does like missing a leg or something, but that would be pretty hard to make him stand up and stuff. So they probably didn't do that. But yeah, we got our first uh, more Phantom animatronics all getting a YouTube speakers. Also, Funko has released a big bombshell of news. So new Funko pops of Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy will reportedly be revealed this month as part of the Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary line. So we're gonna get the main cast except for Golden Freddy as YouTube's as Funko pops. Surprised they didn't do this like two months ago since it was the anniversary, but it's whatever I guess. Uh, so keep an eye out for this. Uh, Funko has been releasing higher quality stuff as of late, so maybe these will be pretty banging. Uh, maybe better than original ones, because uh, it's been years since they did those, I believe. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. I, I wish they added Golden Freddy, though, because they needs to be Golden Freddy. You don't got the whole cast without Golden Freddy, but it is what it is. And for the final March news of this week, the Hex Security Breach Wave is now available, and now the launch includes Plessies of Roxanne Wolf, Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica, and Monty, as well as shorts, hoodies, and drawstring bag. So, get all that stuff. You can go look on the way. But it's pretty expensive. Like, I'm pretty sure the price is like $7, $65. So, that is crazy price. They're getting more and more expensive. Darko, if you watch this or anybody that actually works on Hex, lower the prices. I know you're increasing the quality of the plushies and stuff, but they are getting very, very expensive. And people cannot afford that for plushies. Like, dang, that is expensive. I recently just bought a, a Power Pussy from Playtime with Pussy. I bought the... Uh, Plussy, and it was like $40 because the shipping was so ex expensive. So this is kind of crazy. They're getting very, very expensive, but they are high quality. So I'm in between if they're worth it or not. But you get a lot of cool stuff and new clothing items with it. So if you're interested, take a look at it. And with all the merch news out of the way, let's get into the game news. So Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit is now available on the Nintendo Switch. So if you play the Nintendo Switch, you can now play Into the Pit. It's a great game. I recommend it to anybody that likes Five Nights at Freddy's. It's kind of short, in my opinion, if you're like, if you're good at stealth games, you can probably beat it pretty quickly. But it does have a lot of replay value with difficulty options and stuff like that. And the maximum is pretty difficult in that game. So, a lot of cool stuff. And I'm, I'm, I'm also pretty sure they added some Easter eggs, too. Like, I'm pretty sure I've been seeing a Vanessa Plessy or something. Which makes the lore of this game very confusing, because it's all time travel. Like, there's a lot of references and stuff. So, it's very interesting. But, if you like Five Nights at Freddy's, you can play Into the Pit right now. And that's all for the game news, and let's get into the final thing of this week, and it's, that's the FNAF movie logo. So we got our first look at the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 movie logo, and I'm going to give you my guys' opinions on it. It is ugly. It does not... I don't like it. I don't like it at all, guys. So the colors are like this kind of greenish, bluish, and this orange, and in my opinion, those colors don't combine well. It looks pretty, pretty ugly, but this is just my opinion. It probably is not going to reflect on the movie, but... I think they should redesign the logo. It's not that good looking. It doesn't really match FNAF 2 in my sense. Because I'm pretty sure the FNAF 2 colors were red. Makes sense. Because, you know, with a bite of 87 and stuff like that. But I'm not a big fan of these colors, dog. I, I don't like these colors at all. But tell me, guys, what you think in the comments below. Uh, it's, like, the only thing I'm concerned with with the movie is this logo. Because it is ugly. It's it's so ugly. Ugh. With all the movie news, I want to do some personal things for a channel update. So recently, we have actually reached 3,000 subscribers. So I want to thank you guys all for the recent support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot. And one day, I want to become one of the big FNAF YouTubers or whatever. Because I play FNAF games. I do. And I cover the news on FNAF and stuff like that. So it means a lot if you like FNAF content and you like me as a personality. I'm improving slowly and slowly. And I actually have been accepted to the YouTube partner program i just gotta fire up some personal information legal information and stuff like that and i will be able to soon have number sips i'm not sure what number sips will happen like maybe exclusive live streams maybe uh all the videos of, i'm i'm short on all the videos but i might have three payment options uh they'll all give the same rewards it just means if you want to pay more you can actually help me out more so probably the tier one's gonna be like one dollar five dollars for tier two and ten dollars for tier three uh they're all gonna have the same pork so it's really if you want to help me out, support me more, basically, if you want to pay more. But everybody will get the same amount of stuff, no matter what options you pay, $1 to $10. So I have to do that out and stuff. It's very confusing because taxes and stuff. But I really want to thank you guys for the recent support. And it really means a lot. I'm putting my utmost effort into these videos. And uh, 
I'm trying my best, and I'm glad that you guys all enjoy my videos, and I'm trying to become funny on. I'm trying to, you know, get better at talking and stuff like that. I, I am a nervous wreck. I have social anxiety and stuff like that. So if you notice, I'm kind of weird and stuff, but uh, I'm trying to, you know, open up a little bit more, be more expressive and stuff like that, and uh, doing more live streams. And today, I am live streaming at 6 p.m. EST. We're going to be checking out a new Walton Files thing. Apparently, it's very, very disturbing, so I want to check that out. Maybe uh, play some Evil Within or some FNAF fan games. So, yeah, check it out if you're done. And if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.